Hi, this is Ty with ToolsInAction.com, and today we're here to talk to you about the Rockwell Blade Runner uh, kit number RK7321. Some of the specs on this thing are uh, the 5.5 amp motor will cut most materials, including wood, metal, ceramic tile, all your goodies. Um, you can do a lot of different cuts with it. Scroll cuts, circular cuts, miter cuts, rip cuts. The rip and miter cuts you can make with the included guide that's nice and stored on the other side of the machine here. Um, the variable speed is 8 to 2800 on this nice dial right here. It takes your standard T-shank blades. The table is a nice stainless steel finished table. For as far as cutting wood, you can cut up to an inch and a half thick. Pipe is about an inch and a quarter. All the blades come in this nice drawer right here. They give you five different blades with this thing, which is a really nice feature. We'll get into that when we start cutting. Your dust drawer here. Your on-off switch with a nice safety key so that you cannot turn the machine on on accident. Variable speed, as we talked about already. Go to this side, and here's your fence. Nice and stored, nice and compact. We really like the feature of that. On the back of it, nice wind-up for your cords. There again, it makes it nice and compact. This is a really compact machine that we really like. And on this side, we have the handle, which makes it very nice and portable and light. At 17.6 pounds, we can put it on the included wall bracket that we just put on a piece of plywood here to show you guys. But uh, put it on there, clip your arms down. Now you, now you can work right off your wall if you don't need to, need to work on the bench. Flip the brackets up. Now you're ready to cut. Let's see this tool in action. Pick the blade that you want. Like I said, they give you five different ones. Anywhere from metal blades to, to wood cutting blades little safety cap here you put on the top of the blade so you can't cut yourself. Adjust your arm all the way up. We're going to take this off to show you inside here. Push down the red button, slide over, put your blade in, let go, you're nice and mounted. Put this thing back in the drawer right away otherwise you'll lose it just like I do. Put the cap back on, and now let's see this thing cut. Okay, so now we're going to cut a piece of um, black pipe, thick wall pipe, and I'm going to show you again how to change the blade because it's so easy on this thing. It's a nice feature. Um, one of the things with this cap is if you are working in between materials and you need to change the blade and the blade's hot, it's nice because you just pop that on there, push the red lever down, slide it over, the blade comes off with it, you can quick grab it out and drop it. Put the new blade in the cap. That quick, that simple. Uh, the adjustment, adjustable arm here, what I like to do is I like to set it back behind the blade, lower the arm onto it, go ahead and tighten it. Get this thing nice and tight so it doesn't pop up on you. And then if you ever need any fine tuning, over on this side is another lever for a little bit of fine tuning. We're going to cut through this pipe now. problem. So if you want to see more of this tool, go to toolsinaction.com. So now I put the, uh, the PVC blade on there and we're going to cut through a piece of PVC. nice cut. Okay, so here we are. We're going to cut some wood with this thing. Um, I got the fence mounted onto the, onto the unit. As you can see, it just slides on. Many different ways you can slide it on. 
rip this way, rip this way. You know, even if you had to, you know, use it this way to push something through. If you had to get really close, you didn't want to use your fingers. A lot of adjustable. These two knobs keep this from moving. Adjustable. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it over here. We're just going to show you how to rip something, and then you just take the big knob, and that holds it so it doesn't move. Of course, your other little knob here is to set your miter angle. We're just going to set it at zero. And we're just going to cut a piece of wood here. This is just half inch particle board. Uh, one of the other features that comes with the kit is your vacuum attachment. Inch and a half vacuum hose. We don't have an inch and a half vacuum hose so we're not going to use this but uh, it is nice because it will keep it dust free for you. Now it's roll cut with a piece of wood here. Tiowatoolsinaction.com again. Um, another thing we want to show you is the Blade Runner accessory to make a perfect circle cut. It's the kit number RW9261. We're going to set it up and show you how if you need to make a perfect circle. It's pretty easy to do with this kit. Open the kit up and just your basic stuff inside and we're going to go step by step here and show you how to set it up. Okay so we're going to show you how to make a perfect circle cut. What you got to do is get your, your board whatever size um, circle board you want. You're going to put this pretty close to the center. doesn't have to be exact. Take the screws that they supply you and screw this in. Alright, now what you got to do here is just set, so it says also in the directions, but you just set whatever size hole or circle, I'm sorry, that you want to make. And you're going to put the center guide into this little red thing here. Like so. Slide it in. You get the channel to lock in. And then as you push it, the blade's going to come in. It'll stop. This little yellow arm will lock. And that's as far as you want to go. Once you're in that far, you make the cut. Then on top of that red thing, it'll just spin right around. We'll show you that right now. Perfect four inch circle. Where do you want to have it?